Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I'm going to use my full moon from yesterday in part one to add some land or mountains. We'll see about this. Maybe I'll do that too. Anyway, so I put a chalk line down and I'm pretty sure that I don't need to worry about the chalk line because I can always wash it off, but I kind of want to be able to envision some hills and, <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm doing but I want to put some trees in front of the moon anyway let's get that out of here for the moment and make up a couple of containers of colors which I really wish I had taken the time to check on being open first before I started this whoops started this endeavor so we'll take what I can get, and it might be a little slow for a second. I leave the tops off my bottles, and um, I check them by breathing them, by squeezing them before I go ahead. And so far, I don't need caps. That's just the way it seems to be going. Now this I'm going to put a lot of black in, and I'm going to use some of my copper that I don't use very often. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm going to squeeze it down in because that seems to release cells quite nicely. I'm going to use a few different colors of purple. Try and use up a few things I got hanging around. That looks like the other. Oh well. So I'm going to go back and use some of this. I see what I want over there. I see the green gold and it may or may not be a good idea. I think, oh, especially since it's closed right up tight, and I'm going to grab a skewer and fix that right this moment. Am I? Or not? Yeah, I know. I'm going to fast forward ahead. I would too. Oh, but I'll just be a minute. Then I'm going to grab some forest green. And usually I am not quite this um, strong handed when adding paints into my little dish. I kind of layer them usually. So this is going to be a whole different ball game. And no matter what I have for paint, I will be able to then... Oh, there's the Prussian blue. I wanted some of that anyway. Um, I will be able then to add more to it if I so desire. Let's grab some of that Prussian blue. Really? Okay, fine. Let's be that way. Shall we? That's what I get. I jumped the gun. I was so eager to get out here after editing and posting and doing all the other things I do, which are n without number. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to post a video. Oh well, I guess there's always later. So there's no white in there, and um, I think I ought to pull the white out just because every time I have moonlight, well, every time I have moonlight, I use a little white, and that seems to work fine. Now, I want my hands clean because this canvas is black and matte. Maybe I should have used my little pour cup. In any case, I have small edge catchers to my side over here. And I think I'm going to just give myself permission to let my paint roll. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully where you can see it. just swallow that chalk line right up and then maybe if I'm smart not only will I rock my edge catcher and let the paint roll down so it can roll back in again and there is always the possibility I I see that thing that does not look like it yeah that's a thing that did not belong so I'm just instead of t using the um, spatula I'm just going to use my skewer and fill in right there. And I probably don't need to worry about much of that. As I go along, I will decide what else I might want to do. I've never done it exactly like this before, and I'm kind of looking forward to playing and finding out what it's like. I do want to keep my hands clean as I do this so that I don't endanger
keeping my eye out for foreign objects in my in my paint. If I roll that up, then I can also push it right back over again. And if I squeeze the edge catcher, I get what's over on the edge catcher too. Just filling in different areas. This is a highly unusual activity and one I've wanted to try for quite a long time. You never know. I might have thought I was going to put trees in here and there go my trees again. I'm going to take that paint that I can see the flow of and try and flow it up. I can also see something else in there that does not belong. I'm going to flow it right over that chalk line as best I can. Right straight down and then back in again until no more chalk line and squeeze. I'm going to take this thing that created a cool pattern by being an obstacle out. All right, so now I still have paint moving and the thinner I can make that area of paint, the more likely I am to be able to keep the next area from moving or keep that area from moving when I add the next area. I, I misspoke. So, oh, wow, my container got a little slippery. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to grab a spatula and just spatula apply some of that paint, which I also have not done very often in exactly this way. So that's kind of cool. I don't mind layers, obviously. My paint is absolutely gorgeous. I, I am aware that I may be stirring up my paint as I go, trying not to worry about it. It occurs to me, I've got those little tiny spoons I just got. Where are they? I don't see one, but it's here somewhere. Okay, really? Okay, maybe not this time. All right, I'm going to go all the way over there. <laughs> I know, not, not very specific. And I'm going to put that aside for now. I'm also going to wipe it right off on the edge of the canvas. And I'm going to let that flow down a little bit. And try not to get... Try not to use any new spot on my edge catcher when I flow that paint over. And I think I'm going to use what I flow off right now. So I'm just going to let that sit right there and grab that spatula again. And put that right under the moon. Fill in anything I might feel I need. My patterns go in all different directions. If I happen to have any black canvas showing through, that really wouldn't be the end of the world, I don't think. Okay, so let me see what I've got that I've already mixed up. And I think I'm going to put a whole lot of gold in there. And I'm going to find a particular color of purple that's metallic that I happen to love. That's right here. Because I can put a whole lot of that in there. I like the green. I didn't keep enough of that green. So I also can't put it in with any force without cleaning out my top. So I'm going to be sorry for a second and, and clean that out so I can add it with force. All right. So now I see those bubbles. That's a really good time. To hit it very quickly with a little warmth so we got a chance to get rid of those bubbles. I'm not really trying to skim up the whole surface yet. I'm going to try and keep the paint from rolling down the side of my pour container. I'm just going to try and keep myself from hooking up on the side of, I think, a little more. Patterns will do what they will. 
If I want more gold, I'll just add it right in there. I think I'm going to take a smaller edge catcher and do this backwards from the way I usually do it. I usually do it left-handed. That occurred to me just now. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about whatever else is flowing off, except for I would like to have an edge catcher on my tile. Too late. And I'm just moving those areas into... Yeah? Am I? <laughs> I'm just moving them where I want them to go. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe not. Let's grab the paint so we don't waste it on the little edge catcher. Put it right there. Because paint will flow paint. And this is good paint to flow. And I think I want a little bit of that to flow right over. Actually, going the opposite direction usually works for me well first. kind of like to flow it up into that purple to change it up, but I can also blow and blow on it with a straw and I could use a basting brush only I'm not going to. I want a little more Anita's metallic black. not going to mind whatever flows off because I'm going to take it and use it again. I may even put some of it right into this gold area which became somewhat overpowering for me. But I do have a straw and I will I will to use it. because there are always other colors buried and um, the straw blowing into it will agitate the paint and create cells too. That and a spatula. Well, it looks like we're on the moon so far. Looking at the moon from the moon. So I'm going to let some of this flow down now and see how far it'll go because I can sort of thing before I add paint near the bottom. Yeah, I'm using up all of my time just adding the paint to the second layer, but I guess that's par for the course, isn't it? I could, I could smooth some of that over or blow it over. I'm just interested in having a somewhat wet layer of paint on the canvas at this point. I'm going to take this away long enough to find that spatula again and remove what's on it because there's no need to waste it. Move that out of the way and use up the rest of my paint. What color do I am I lacking in there? I don't think I have an overabundance of copper. And so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to ribbon dribble. I kind of wish I had a little bit more of that bright purple. And what did I do with it? Maybe it's not even here. Yeah, that's a good contrast. It won't stay because it's not really near white. Which reminds me, I think I'll just use some gold on the bottom of this. And scrape it out before we run out of time. I still want to put some trees in front of the moon. But I don't think that they're going to be stealing the show or anything anytime soon. I'm going to leave this spatula and hope it doesn't dry. No, I'm going to wipe off this spatula because I'm smart like that. Because I don't want it to dry. And now it's time 
to get the few things that are in my way out. And tip again. I keep putting my bottles down on my spare, on my dry edge catchers, which is not helpful. This is not the largest edge catcher, but it's going to have to do. Okay, so wrong way first. Up. And then down. And maybe over. And then back. Kind of like the bottom to be very different from the rest. And then over again. I don't know if I can put enough pressure on that edge catcher to bring my paint back. But I'd like to rock it so I cover my edge. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to flow that back over quite nicely, actually. Before it gets to the other side, it's time to go ahead and attempt to make it go to the bottom. If I have any gaps, I'll fill them. I'm sorry about that. The timer is going to be going off until I stop rocking this edge catcher. That tells me I have, whoops, that tells me I have two minutes <laughs> to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you, and that's pretty cool. Right there, I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula and decide if I want to put any of this color right back into the composition. Some here. Not that it wasn't beautiful, it's just that it's nice, nice to make other areas that are contrasting. So it looks like there's more topography. <laughs> Today's word is topography. It means the bumps in the land. All right, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do other than uh, tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. And no matter what I could do to this, it's not happening right now. There's going to have to be a part three. I do torch to release the bubbles and the patterns in the paint. The bubbles form when you're shaking. I think that's a thing. Yes, goodbye thing. The bubbles form when you're shaking the paint. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video, underneath show more. Is that another thing? No, that's not a thing. Good. And uh, you can find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter there also. You can uh, shop my Teespring clothing underneath the video, which is which are my designs, which I've added a whole lot of all-over all print shirts and leggings. And if you're having trouble, like my friends, finding what you're looking for, just ask me and I'll give you a link, especially to Legging Love, which is the name of the store with the majority of the leggings on it. So I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I'm compelled to play with my paint. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so I'm just... Um, making some of the things that I see that I want more copacetic, more copacetic. Now I could pull some trees up into this, and I think there might be a few trees or trees right up for the mountain. But um, for the moment, I think I'm just going to tell you guys, if you share my videos, you help me out. There's going to be stars too. And uh, I keep seeing that black space and, and going to it and then not dealing with it. There we go. I kind of want some more black in there, actually kind of like it that much. Just enough to create something to draw the eye. can roll it up and steal it on my skewer too. Got some nice little tiger cells. I am going to run out of time, obviously, again. You can find playlists, created playlists, on my channel by clicking on the name of my channel underneath the video or my face. Either one will take you to created playlists. And there are nine lists populated by 100-ish each and, uh, and 11 lists of genres, including orbs and flower bursts and flower gardens and fantasy scapes like this one is and uh, geometrics and swipes and ball chain pulls and balloon rolls. And there will be more of everything as time goes on. So private art lessons, I give them at the house. I do sell my artwork. I mentioned that already. If you're not getting new notifications, there is um, a YouTube channel play 